I make a lot of pendulum videos for you guys. Different decks, different styles. But what is the best out of every single one of them? Today's video is figuring out what is the best, and that is pure Endymion. It is the best going first, it is the best going second, it is the most consistent, and this is my updated deck list of pure Endymion, the best version of all pendulums. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button, boys. I'm going to be doing a comment tutorial quickly, and then a deck profile on my new updated list to destroy the current meta. If you guys want to support your boy, also get a play mat above, and as you're seeing here, we're, we're doing stuff in the correct chronological order. We are going chronograph here to go time gazer. We want to get Crowley out. A lot of you don't utilize Crowley as you should. A lot of you wouldn't have seen that chronograph play, and that's what I'm here for. I got you guys. I got you. You do it in this chronological order. You might not even get the Magister. You got to do it in the right chronological order to ensure you get the most negates out of every single hand. So if your opponent was going to hand trap you at any time, you'll be fine. And this deck does have ways to out Droll, by the way, for those wondering uh, if Droll destroys the deck. So I also, on my Patreon, I described specifically how to beat Droll in a How to Beat Droll video in my Patreon. So go subscribe uh, to sign up for the Trip Gaming membership where I discuss real pendulum training in depth. You guys are seeing here, man. Pendulums are just the best deck. Spirals ain't shit on us, bro. They ain't got anything on us. You see here, just you keep busting. Look at this. Like, look at our hat. Like, that's just insane. <clears throat> We're gonna keep going. Like I said, you're gonna desire us first. Don't allure first. You don't want to get rid of the Mighty Master. It is a negate in its own. Without Electrum, you gotta save the Mighty Master and Jackals where you can. We can still allure if we want to, but in this situation, we really don't need to. And I have allure in for a reason, which I'll describe at the end of the video. Here you notice my new tech, Instant Fusion, which is like, Instant Fusion is a 10 times better Called by the Grave. It does what Called by the Grave does, except way better. And it does what Reasoning does. It gives you a free Spellcaster monster to make Crowley with. So it's two in one, and it's way better going second than both those cards. So Instant Fusion is just amazing. We're gonna use uh, Institution here, and uh, we're gonna add ourselves another Mighty Master. Now, like I said, the chronological order of everything's correct it is very important. So we are not going to use Instant Fusion or Allure because we don't need to. We already have five, six, this is a seven interruption hand, I believe. And uh, we're going to Pendulum the Mighty Masters. Now we're going to go into uh, Appalooza for four, not for three. We're going to get rid of the Mighty Master as well to ensure that we could Magister. We're going to get Appalooza to now have four uh, counters on it. We're going to utilize Magister's effect to summon out Mighty Master. And Magister will be able to bring out anything you want from the deck, another Jackal. So just like that, you're going to have a Jackal, a Mighty Master, a Mighty Master, another Jackal for Magister. That's four uh, already. The Jackal itself has five interruptions and an Appalooza for four. So that doesn't count as nine negates, but Appalooza for four will resolve twice at least. So that's seven negates right there. And you have full cards in hand, Reflection for next turn, Allure, Instant. You have Thousand Eyes of Strict next turn. The synergy is amazing, and really, you can do this every single hand. We did open Servant and Master, but we only needed one of them. You know what I mean? Like, you got four of them in a 30-card deck. You got a bunch of draw cards. This is the deck profile. If you guys like OEC, smash the subscribe button, boys. Let's go. We can do this all day. Servant, Triple Abductor. You just need to play it. The thing with pure, typically pure decks are better. And the pure deck here is just, man, it's so consistent. It's just so consistent. Look at it. Look at it for yourself. There are no cards that are bad. We cover Flexion to one. Uh, we are playing Magister at two. I do want to play Magister at one and play Triple Instant Fusion. But at the moment, I think Magister at two is fine. But it's just the most consistent list possible. You're playing 20 spell cards here. You're going to resolve your Serving Abductor all the time. Your Mighty Master going second. Going second is the main part, boys. Going second is the main part. In next week's uh, Patreon videos, we are going to be doing a go how to go second with Pendulums. And Mighty Master is a massive part of that. Mighty Master and the Mythical Beast cards. It's why you gotta play a gigantic Mythical Beast engine to ensure that your Mighty Master and your institutions resolve all day. You gotta play triple insti uh, ins institutions because every card here holds counters. So this card just broken. Also because of Mini Jackal. So the reason why I play Allure, which I'll get into later, I'll, I'll get into it now, but because of Mini Jackal. So. You have triple instant, uh, institutions, Cerberuses, 
to just get the uh, mini jackal you don't care about banishing the anything else you just banish this you can get rid of one counter allure get rid of that like for free normal summon of doctor get a free plus one from the mini jackal allure darkness or it away so the synergy is amazing and the doctors never clog because of the mini jackal where if you have too many mock cards you want as a low scale let's say servant reflection of doctor whatever cerberus you can always normal summon the magical abductor get your free plus one from the mini jackal and then allure darkness away the mini jackal like it's the synergy is super amazing Chronograph, great synergy with Servant Abductor and Reflection and Magister, as you saw in the last game, to put counters on the field. And when any of these cards get destroyed, to summon out the Chronograph, to summon out the Mighty Master or the Jackal to negate going second. So every single one of these top 20 cards that you see here all synergize with each other. Even Abductor and Cerberus do not clog. They do not counter it. In, uh, they're not counterintuitive because if you're scared of Ash Blossom, you could simply normal summon the magical abductor and then activate the Cerberus and still get pluses from the abductor. They do not clog. You could no it has a normal summon effect to add the mini jackal, which is why they all go in together. And you won't play the mini jackal without the Cerberus. And you won't play the deck without Jackal or Mighty Master. So it just works perfectly together. <clears throat> double blue boy, double secrets, and a knowledge. I love five. I do not recommend playing one blue boy. Play two blue boy, two secrets, one knowledge because blue boy is a perfect impermanence bait and you want to see these cards if you draw multiple of them that is fantastic your goal isn't electrum anymore i'm debating playing even more than this because the best play is to draw two. you want to see two of them because you know i'm a blue boy let's say you draw blue boy and secrets you know a blue boy you get secrets you get knowledge and then you knowledge away the extra secrets in hand now you save the extra blue boy on the field to be able to make a link to with like an ip mascarena before your pen summon so seeing multiple is totally fine if anything it's better to see multiple upstart into the void double desire it's only bad when you see three when you see two bubble cards it's amazing because now you save your normal summon <clears throat> upstart into the void double desires triple lore as i said you need to play the lore free spells you never run out abductor gets you spells uh, my, uh, gets you dark, Mighty Master gets you a dark, Cerberus gets you a dark, Jackal's dark, this is dark, 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 dark. Your darks are everywhere. All these cards search darks, they draw darks. Allure Darkness is never dead. Uh, as you saw in the comment tutorial, I saved it simply because we didn't need it. You just save it for next turn for a follow up. You already had Infinity in the gates on board, so you don't need to waste your allure in that situation. I'd rather save it for next turn. Triple Institution. Uh, I would never play less than three in a pure Endymion deck. Some of you play two. It never clogs simply because of the mini jackal being able to just have, get, remove one counter to add this. One mini jackal is mandatory, man. It is it puts the entire. It's the glue of the deck. It's mandatory. Triple mastery, double instant fusion. Uh, I said triple instant fusion is an option because it's how you play around hand traps and it helps you going second and puts a monster on board for Crowley and gives you more another spell counter. It's just amazing. We talked about how to destroy Spiral in our last Patreon video. We do it often. Uh, triple Sphere, Triple Lava Golem is the way to go. You just take out the five Blue Boy cards and one extra card, maybe one Instant Fusion. And then just like that, you have six cards that just annihilate Spiral. Just draw one, you auto win the duel. We talked about mathematics in our How to Beat Spiral video on Patreon. How you have a 65% chance winning going first, regardless of the die roll or not. And then after that, if you draw one of these, you have a 100% chance of winning. And going first, you have a 100% chance of winning anyways. So Triff Math, you just win all day, baby. Uh, I do recommend, guys, if you're new to pay, uh, the Pendulums, to check out the Patreon. It really describes the membership in depth, describes how to play Pendulums in depth, and really teaches you guys how to win your events. Lightning Storm and Red Reboot. Four, these four cards are Blue Ultra's background decks. If Sphere Mode or Lava Golem does not hurt the deck, then Lightning Storm or Red Reboot will hurt the deck. Uh, and then you put in Eccentric and Garuda as well. Because now when you face Floodgates, there could be only one or whatever it may be. Abductor searches Eccentric. Cerberus searches Garuda. You would now have four, eight. That'll be 12 cards that are auto-destroy one back row. Uh, but four of them are the only ones that aren't Pendulum related. So Eccentric and Garuda do not brick. So against back row decks, I put in Triple Lightning Storm. One Red Reboot and Eccentric and Garuda versus back row decks. And I would take out... Double Instant Fusion versus back row decks, by the way. Back row decks, specifically going second. If Instant Fusion kills the deck, I would keep it in. But Instant Fusion is just generic, good for game one. I'll take a one blue boy and one secrets and try and get them by through Crowley. And I'll take out a mini jackal and an Allure of Darkness. Uh, something along those lines. You could keep a mini jackal if you want, because typically you'll get Garuda. And maybe take a double Allure. You could keep in the blue boys if you love it. And just take out Allure of Darkness. 
uh, and maybe uh, mini jack or an institution but uh, those are the options you can i want to give you guys options uh for siding because a lot of you guys don't know how to side correctly which i will be doing as well on patreon very soon on specifically how to side deck perfectly i do believe everyone doesn't know how to side deck with pendulums i think they're idiotic when it comes to side decking uh, double secret village for going first and uh, for going first if you're scared of droll put in the third instant fusion they can take out whatever you want between an allure darkness or, an, or, or a mag probably a magister i'll take out a magister uh after going first now extra deck crowley mascarena daybreaker saryuja appalooza this is all mandatory for pendulums if you cannot afford appalooza or mascarena it's not the end of the world but for pure endemian i would not advise you play pure endemian if you can't afford mascarena or appalooza i'd advise you throw in some magician cards in there just to help you get your negates because sometimes you might not get your negates just for, without electrum you won't always have mighty masters and jackals so the mascarena kind of ensures that no matter what if you don't see enough mighty masters and jackals you still have your negates easily Phoenix, Unicorn, Boral Sword, Boral Load, still needed. A lot of times it can spiral out, bait everything, and then Boral Load their Sleeper and then win. Dweller, for decks that die to Dweller, like Salamander and Orcas are still around. You just Abductor, Search Abductor, Pop, abduct, like, like whatever it may be, you can still get it. Garuda, you throw in your level fours as often as possible. Institution, Add Abductor, Servant, Special Abductor. I know it sounds a little crazy, but uh, Dwellers auto win for some decks, or if you know you're facing Spiral. Absolute Dragon Vortex still comes up, uh, even just with the Mighty Master and Reflection. And then uh, uh, Millennium Hazard Strict, Thousand Hazard Strict, Broken with Instant Fusion, and the Karibo to make sure they don't clog. That's the deck, guys. I hope you like it. If you guys got this far, check out the beautiful Trip Gaming playmats up above. Check out the Trip Gaming memberships down below. Follow me on Instagram. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.